This dinosaur is 12 feet tall and about 43 feet long. It's bigger than most bloom sculptures anyone's ever seen before. My name is Mark Verge and I'm a balloon artist. I entertain children, adults sometimes, and I make uh, balloon animals for little kids. A little seahorse, teddy bear in a tree, a fish on a rod. I also sculpt, I like making big sculptures. In the past, I've been very fortunate to win six world competitions. My style is more like, uh, I like making big sculptures. Some people are like intricate stuff, not me. I like to make bigger stuff, bigger is better. I made like costumes, dump truck, pirate ship, motorcycles. But the coolest thing I ever made is my life-size T-Rex. This dinosaur is about 12 feet tall and about 43 feet long. It's about uh, six, maybe 700 balloons total. This is one of the largest balloon dinosaurs ever made. Balloons obviously lose air, so you can't just leisurely make it over a week or even two weeks. You have to make it kind of like all in one jaunt to spend like about 40 hours and three days and just basically work, sleep, work, sleep, and that's all you really do. When I start the dinosaur, I start with uh, the vertebrae, and I start it here, and I go all the way through. This is a smaller balloon, and this is a little bit larger. So if you look at this, this is basically a whole bunch of these put together. And then the ribs, this is probably one of the more challenging parts of it, because it's so large and you have to use multiple balloons to actually put it together. It would be impossible for this thing to stand on its own, so I use these lamp stands to hold it up. You can keep adding on to it. I can make it go high, go low, and you can pose it in any position you wish. A lot of times I will either go from an image or models of dinosaurs, so I like to make them as accurate as possible, almost exactly the same as you would see in a museum. We have the hip bone here, followed by the legs. This is a style called weaving, where you twist it. It's much like making a basket. So basically this is all straight and then you make it a little larger and bring it in to make it look like a bone. So these claws, although it's a big T-Rex, it's actually the same size hands as a human would have. The hardest part is making the head. And actually a lot of people look here and they're wondering why are these open? Actually dinosaurs tend to have that because they gotta make their head lighter because they're so heavy, but it also lets it release heat from there so they don't cook their little brains in. My life-size T-Rex is the coolest thing I've ever made.